Hello there, and welcome to Andre's Artist Profiles. Now today, I'm going to be profiling none other than Mr. Peter Gabriel. And his birthday is today. Peter Gabriel, um, aside from his work with Genesis in the early to mid-1970s, has a fantastic body of unique work. Collaborative albums with the African musician Yuso Nadora and a number of other world music oriented productions and projects and so on and so forth. And I don't even have all of his proper solo pop records, but I do have a number of them, um, all from the 1980s onward. Uh, and there are some huge gaps here, but this is what I have for Peter Gabriel. Um, this is an album that, um, of course, for vinyl buffs out there, it's available, but see, it says full digital recording. The first one of this sort also came out in 1982, and that was Donald Fagan's The Nightfly, but I got it on CD because full digital recording, it just needs a CD for that one. And this is called Security. Um, generally a rather ambient album in a lot of ways. There's also a lot of heavy African percussion influence on this album as well, of course, but the big hit is the very new wave friendly Shock the Monkey. You know. And um, that's a wonderful album, by the way. Highly recommended. The next album is Peter Gabriel Plays Live. Now this is a two disc set. I don't know if you can see that there. Disc one and disc two. Uh, from the security era. He of course has a longer version of Shock the Monkey on this album. Anyway. Of course, this is an album that was Peter Gabriel's big kind of hit parade. Uh, of course, he hit with a heavy funk number on here called Sledgehammer, and a more modern type dance funk number called um, In Your, um, uh, I would say, uh, sorry, uh, Big Time. Two songs that were a big part of the soundtrack to my personal life. And uh, he did a duet on this album called Don't Give Up, with uh, Kate Bush, and another big hit was the more African-inspired In Your Eyes. Uh, and um, anyway, this album from 1986 was Peter Gabriel's huge contribution to the MTV culture of the day, but it's a rather more artful album from that era than one might suspect, produced with Daniel Lanois. This is the first edition of that album. And, the next album I have by him is a very similar record called Us, which I believe came out around 1992. And uh, they had another Sledgehammer song on here called Steam. And this is a, another kind of similar album to So. Really very good. It's on Peter Gabriel's w Real World subsidiary. Um, the next album I have by him is Up, and this came out uh, around 2002. And this is, a, again, a more modern update of that So and Us sound. Again, a uh, one two-letter word title. And this album had a hit called uh, The Barry Williams Show on it. Well, it wasn't a hit. It was a, a song he did a video to. Um, clever send-up of modern talk show culture. Uh, Barry Williams, Greg Brady of The uh, Brady Bunch made an appearance in it, of course. Uh, cameo in that video. Great album. Uh, that's what I have for Peter Gra Gabriel's uh, solo catalog. So enjoy your music, and until next time, I'll see you next time.